Tonight, the ship that hit the Matthews Bridge in September is back at Blunt Island. Tugboats were alongside the Navy ship as it slipped back underneath the Matthews. Our team of investigators spent the last 41 days digging through documents, state records, military ship designs, photos, and videos of the damaged bridge. We worked with local engineers to build a 3D rendering of the moment of impact. CBS 47 Action News investigator Amanda Warford, for the first time, can now show us how close we came to disaster. Researchers around the country had only grainy home video to study until now. You're about to see a new 3D rendering of the collision. One experts think could help save lives. Look close. This cell phone video shows the moment a massive ship tore through the bottom of the Matthews Bridge. Oh, I hit it. This grainy image was the only known documentation of the crash until now. Action News is the only station to bring you a 3D model of the near catastrophe. There was a lot of guesswork as to what happened in between and how exactly it collided with the bridge. We gave engineering students at the University of North Florida a challenge. Recreate the moment of impact so we can show you exactly what happened. So it pierces the bridge right here, right next to the joint. It basically, yeah, bent it and twisted, twisted it. Ali Abu Maksud poured through city and military records, pictures, and video taken by Action News minutes after the crash to create this exclusive rendering. The Matthews Bridge design consultants tell him is the most accurate record they've seen so far. Dr. Adele Al-Safdi says the research we asked his students to perform confirms his greatest fear. That bridge was on the verge of collapse. El Softy says we're extremely lucky. The ship's left post tore through only one beam that just happened to support a minimal amount of weight. It barely missed a major joint that keeps the bridge standing. If that kind of hit was maybe like a foot to the right hitting the node itself that is connecting four or five members, then that would have been a very different story. El Softy says this rendering should be a big red flag for city leaders. They can learn a lot about the stresses and the vulnerability of our infrastructure to such a disaster, I would say. But for now, he calls the Matthews Bridge a success story that engineers worldwide are glued to. They're now asking for this documentation to help them plan safer bridges in the future. This is very important because there's lives at risk here. I'm sure structural engineers will use this as a as a warning to sort of put more efforts towards building stronger bridges. That collision happened on a Thursday afternoon and crews began repair work just six days later. And they had to work swiftly because every day they waited, that bridge was deteriorating and it was one day closer to collapse. We are all thankful it did not. Absolutely. Thanks. Amanda, thanks. The State Department of Transportation routinely inspected the work before reopening that bridge. We requested those inspection reports, but the state denied our requests, citing security reasons. For complete coverage of the collision to now, Go to actionnewsjacks.com, search Matthews Bridge, or just go to Action News Investigates.